Hello everyone, my name is Dirt77, bringing you a Dragon Ball Legends character breakdown video. I notice with my summon videos, before I summon a lot of times I like to break down the characters, but that slows down the summon video quite a bit because I like to talk a lot about these characters. I can't seem to shut up about uh, breaking down characters and team composition in this game. It's one of my favorite parts about it. So instead, what I decided to do is I'm going to start making separate characters for character breakdowns. Um, so that way I can ramble for as long as I need to and not distract from summons. Um, and everybody wins. And, it, and it's a fun, good time. And we're going to be breaking down all new all four of the new featured characters which in my opinion are is, is maybe the best pool of feature characters this game has ever seen so far not vegeto we're not going to be breaking down vegeto uh because i don't have him <sighs> but uh, anyway we're going to start with super saiyan blue goku or as they like to officially name him still super saiyan god super saiyan goku even the official name is just so weird it still doesn't make sense and they and they contradict it a lot in the show and long and even in the games themselves like super saiyan ko kaioken i think is called super saiyan blue kaioken officially and who knows anyway super saiyan blue goku uh this character is awesome um uh, first off godlike art as usual with legends you know just amazing art all over the place constantly in this game um but I, I feel like that this character, people are starting to realize his place now, but this character, I feel like has been pretty overlooked and people don't, haven't really, not necessarily overlooked, but I, I feel like people don't really realize how essential he is. Uh, first off, you know, just super solid stats. Um, we got him right now at 3000, fully boosted um, at three star. Got solid health pool, solid strike attack, solid blast attack. He doesn't really discriminate discriminate between those two. Really good strike defense. Um, solid enough blast defense. Solid critical. Mm, key restore is not that great, but you know it, it, it's whatever. And he brings a um, a strike and a blast. So just ultra balanced uh, character. Um, you know, of course, he's got a strike and his blast. He's got the super kamehameha, which um, is just a standard special move, and it gives you more blast damage inflicted. He's listed as a range type, by the way, but. I mean, it's, it's really not that serious. Like I said, he doesn't really discriminate between strike and blast. Um, he's got this green card, which is one of the best green cards in the game. Absolutely no doubt. Uh, it restores health by 10%, which is always great to have. Uh, and key by 30, which means it's a net positive key, a green card. It, it's only cost 19, which means you're gaining back 11 key. Um, so there's pretty much no reason not to use this if you've taken some damage and you're a little low on key. Also gives you a uh, plus 20 to damage inflicted for 15 timer count. So very seriously, I mean, you know, it might not be as explosive as some other green cards like Vegeta's or, you know, Sales or something like that. But this is, as far as utility goes, easily one of the very best green cards in the game. It's absolutely excellent and, and one of the reasons why he's so strong. Um, God Kamehameha, which is his ultimate, and man, this thing does a lot of fucking damage. It says 50% to ultimate damage. It feels like more. Uh, anytime I hit this ultimate, it does a lot of damage, uh, like a whole, whole bunch. So just know that he's got that in his back pocket, and it's going to hit hard when it hits. It's, it's not uh, much harder than your standard ultimate. Um, now, here he comes with his abilities. Now, the thing is, is... The God Key team is extremely ability focused. Every character is, is very, very focused on their abilities, including Goku. But whereas the other God Key characters, their abilities are very focused on kind of almost burst type things, especially Vegeta. Vegeta's just made to come in and leave and, and he's not meant to stay, stay out for a long time. Goku's abilities are focused on making him one of, if not the fucking most stable just character in the game like he is a rock he is just such a such a stable unit so we'll go into why here uh, first off his main ability allows him to draw his ultimate art card um, which we just talked about and it restores his vanish gauge by 100 percent that might seem simple but it is massive that is an incredible ability to have um you know especially for one-on-one -on -one fights um you know if last man standing uh just for tricky shit in general even if you don't use his ultimate, which you definitely should if you can, just the fact that his main ability restores Banish Gage by 100% on a character like him is just huge. I think the only other character that did this before was um, EX Purple Pan. So that was like the only reason why I was using her sometimes is because her damage sucked, her defense sucked, everything sucked, but she had a main ability that restored her Vanish Gauge by 100%, and that alone actually had her on my female team for, for a good little bit. So 
just to give you an idea on how good that uh, that ability is. It's really fantastic. Even if it's on a shit unit, it can make them pretty decent. Um, Z ability is for blast attack, uh, for god key, of course. Um, and then at five star, you get the double, which is excellent. So very good to have. You know, god key is a nice mixture between strike and blast. Vegeta, both of the Vegetas are very strike focused, but they can use the blast damage. Um, and then Goku and Beerus lean a little bit more blast focused as well as uh, Whis. Um, now his unique ability, so 15% um, of damage inflicted when battle begins, so he just straight up gets 15% damage buff. Uh, the following effects occur depending on the number of timer counts elapsed since the start of battle. So 20 timer counts, you get 15% more to damage and 15% more to key recovery. 40 timer counts, same thing, 15, 15. 60 timer counts, 15 more, and then increases your draw, card draw speed by one level. So uh, by after 60 timer counts, he's going to be hitting really hard. That's uh, what a... That's 15, it's 30, 45, so that's a 60, yeah, 60% 60 damage increase, I think, that's permanent. Um, yeah, I mean, it can be removed by certain characters. Fucking Vegito, I, I believe, can do that. But, um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's super great. At 60 count, counts, he's going to be really strong. He's going to be able to do long combos because of his card, uh, Arc's card draw speed, uh, as well as he's going to be recovering key like a motherfucker, so... Even at the beginning of the match, he does solid enough damage, but um, as the match goes on, he's going to be getting real strong. Not quite like, you know, Super Saiyan 3 purple strong, but it definitely, you're going to feel his hits for sure. Now, the real kicker on top of this, though, is his other unique ability. Uh, sorry, but it's my turn now. The following effects occur from battle start for 45 seconds. Uh, reduces damage received by 35%. Uh, nullifies own attribute downgrades and abnormal conditions. So... Right when the battle starts, you're going to be taking 35% less damage for 45 timer counts. That's a long time. Um, and he doesn't have to do anything special to activate this. It just makes him tanky as shit. Um, you know, it, like I said, especially for those first 45 timer counts. He's already got solid enough stats as it is. Like, his defenses are on the better side than the worst, for sure. They're, they're pretty strong, especially in strike defense. Um, but this just makes him really, really hard to hurt. Even if he's a green, you know, even if he's getting hit by a green, um, you know, maybe certain ones like Frieza probably just not give a fuck. But um, regardless, what this means is these two abilities combine, and you see that this um, second tier activates at 45. So, I mean, 40. So there's actually a small period of time where he is going to have this um, tankiness, super tankiness with a 45% uh, sandwich and key recovery buff. Well, actually, key recovery would be 30. So in those five seconds, he is going to be pretty unstoppable, um, whether he's offensive or defensive. But even before those five seconds, you're going to be getting the 15 and then the 20 is really hit, good to hit. So pretty much all this comes together and just makes an incredibly stable character. And why I think he is so essential is, is like I was mentioning before, gods are very ability focused. Uh, you know, Vegeta wants to come in and get his strike boost and lock him in, in into, um, you know, to where they can't switch, get his key recovery back, and, uh, and do some damage. And, you know, maybe hit a green card if someone decides to throw out a blast. But he's not meant to stay in long periods of time. After about 15, 20 seconds, Vegeta kind of becomes a, a pretty basic character. He, he just, he's just, he's going to hit you, he's going to blast you, but he's not getting any boost. Um, you know, any of that stuff, you know, of course his ultimate is great and, and can nullify a lot of stuff, but Vegeta is not meant to stay in long periods of time. He, he's meant to come in for about 15 counts, if that, and then leave. Uh, Beerus, pretty much the same way. Sparking Beerus, pretty much the same way. Um, he, he's mainly to come in to do, uh, ability locking and to increase blast cards, uh, you know, cost for the opponent. And he can do some good blast damage, but... He's he and he can hang in there for a little while. He's got decent defenses, but once again, he's not the type of character that you're gonna want to lean on. Like Beerus is the type of he will go down pretty quick to like a purple, and he'll he'll go down pretty quick in general to certain characters, as well as like he just doesn't have the ability set to keep him out for long periods of time. And you want to put him back into standby that way. If you need to bring him back out to lock him in ability, you can. Whis is, you know, is more of a god support, almost like a Super Saiyan god, um, excuse me, Super Saiyan Bardock for gods. You know, not quite as strong, no, but uh, definitely in a way, he, you know, when he switches out, he's going to be buffing the rest of the team. Of course, he gets his own buffs as well when he's in, and he's, he's a very solid character, but he's not, he's also, his, his 
you know, attack stats and stuff aren't really made for you to stay out and just fuck people up with weeks. Like, he can do damage, but he's not he's not made to be out there and, you know, really fuck people up. So that's why Goku is so essential to guys, is because he is pretty much, the way I've put it before, is he's pretty much the tree trunk for gods that allows all the other god characters to branch off from him. So when you come in with Vegeta and, and you do your strike damage, you switch back to Goku, you know you have one of the most stable characters in the game that is going to be able to hold it down no matter what, what situation he's in until Vegeta can come back in. Same thing with Beerus, same thing with Whis. Um, you know, you Goku allows the God team to use their abilities to the fullest. And like I said, God's abilities are some of the absolute best in the game. You know, Vegeta's are just stunningly good. Um, you know, Beerus's can be very useful, as, and Whis's are also great. Not, not very experienced with the EX Beerus, but he seems uh, like he's got some great abilities as well. And of course, uh, Super Saiyan God Vegeta, which unfortunately I also do not have, but... Um, he, his abilities are focused on coming in, coming in and burst damage as well. Like, he, he and Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta are actually pretty similar in their concepts for their ability sets, and they work really well together because of it, especially because they both bring strike cards. But Goku is the one that's going to... Without Goku on your team, you're kind of dealing with too many glass cannon characters or either too many characters that burn out too quick. Uh, they need a they need a tree. They need a tree to branch off from. Uh, but go and Goku is that tree. I mean, he like I said, he is ability focused as well. Without his abilities, he's pretty much just you know he's got good stats, but nothing too serious. But it's his abilities that but that are so good in making him so stable. Um, and you know, with these abilities, yeah, it's, it's just, he, he's, in my opinion, extremely essential to gods, you know, depending on certain teams you go up to on, you might want to skip out using Goku. Um, you know, Whis and Beerus make a very, very good team. So it might be a good idea to go up, you know, Whis, Beerus and Vegeta for certain circumstances. But I do think that gods are harder to utilize to their fullest without Goku, um, in a lot of ways. And like I said, he might not be the most explosive. He might not be the most exciting. Um, he might not have, you know, as much fun tricks and, and gimmicks and stuff as the other god characters. But he is the one that, that <laughs> if you're in jail and you got one call to one god key character, you should call Goku. He's the one that's probably going to have the cash in line to bail you out. He's the one that's probably going to have the working vehicle to get over to the jailhouse. Uh, he's the one that's going to probably have the connections to the good lawyers. Uh, whereas, you know, Vegeta is probably like at a bar somewhere just drinking himself into oblivion. Um, and Beerus is probably like, you know, at some sort of massage parlor. Um, just not giving a fuck about you and, and acting like he's your friend when he's not really. But Goku, Goku's going to bail you out. And, and so, you know, definitely if you get Goku, you should be happy. Great character. Um, gods are very team-based, though. So all of these characters, Goku is the least amount of, of the characters that are team-based. He's the one that can hold his own the best. I mean, I've even seen people throw him on like a Sun family team, but in general, gods are very team-based. So if you manage to snag Goku and Vegeta, you're going to be in, you're going to be in for a very good time. But anyway, uh, that's pretty much uh, Goku there. Um, like I said, very, very excellent character um, and, and super essential to gods, in my opinion, super, super essential. Without him, I'm not even sure if I would recommend running gods, really. I'm not, I don't think you that you should. But anyway, that's going to be it for uh, this character breakdown. Next time, we're going to go into Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, talk about why he is such an incredible uh, character on Gods 2. I actually managed to get him to 5-star. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, yeah, so thanks a lot for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.